welcome to Fantasy Island. There's always something. Dang, what a bunch of goons. Hey everybody, before we get this video started, I just wanted to let you know, the winner of the raffle for January last month is Jeremy Trost. So he won this box because he commented his favorite part of the video, he subscribed to the channel and liked the, liked the video. So Jeremy, we're gonna be reaching out to you on YouTube, responding to your comment. Uh, please send us your email information so we can get you the um, box that you won. But this month we're gonna do a different raffle to win a free box of meat from Farmer Grade. And all you gotta do to enter into that is go to farmergrade.com and subscribe to our newsletter. That will keep you informed on new product launches, new products, um, new farmers that come on to Farmer Grade, all that stuff, discounts, you name it. Like the video and comment your favorite part of the video and we will uh, pick a winner at the end of February. So thank you guys so much for your support. I'm glad that you guys are enjoying doing these raffles. It's a cool way for us to give back to you guys and see uh, your guys' honest feedback. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And now, without further ado, let's get into the video. Good morning, folks. It's around 10 a.m. this morning, and we got a couple loads of overstocks going out of our Site 2 barn. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Fantasy Island. Today's episode... It's all about... All about Torx Pork. That's right. We're gonna take some of our headaches, and we're gonna give them to somebody else. See ya! Oh, he's just getting started. <laughs> he kind of backed up far. He went a long or way. He's to come back. He's going to have to back up at an angle now. I don't know what he's doing. Trucker logic. We don't ever have it, do we? We weren't born with that. That's a whole different, that's a whole different level. All right. So these are the pigs that we're going to be taking today. We're going to work our way down this fast alley and it's going to go right to this door. And that's where the loading chute is. Should go pretty good. When we use this fast alley, pigs move a lot better than when we run them down the traditional alley. I think I'm going to have you load them today. I'm feeling I'm, spry. I'm old and beat up already. I'm fresh from being at Port Congress. I'm all amped up on Red Bull and UV. I'll bring you half of that. Three five, three six, three seven, three eight, three nine, thirty, three one, three two, three three, three four, three five, three six, three seven, three eight, three nine, forty, three one, three two, three three, three four, three five, three six, three seven, three eight, three nine, fifty, fifty one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I wish we had 
three more to go. Well, ladies and gents, there's always something. Always something. And over here at site one, our feed lines have been giving us some trouble. And part of the reason that is, is since all this snow came, all this rain came, all this frozen crap that came a couple weeks ago, some of it's gotten into the bins and it's been just a pain in the butt. And so this feed line has not ran. It didn't run yesterday. And we turned it on and the feed lines were running good. Like the lines weren't, none of the lines were off, but none of the feed was coming down. So after further investigation, every single feed tube across every single feeder probably looks something like this. Man, that is in there, I'll tell you what. one down that's pretty much the process that it's going to take to get all these unclogged maybe some of them will be easier than others but as you can see it's kind of a pain because as you're looking up there and you get it more and more unplugged the dry feet will start falling in your eyes and if you get this too far up there it'll get caught in the auger so you gotta kind of gotta tread lightly and be, be smart and be careful but Well, I was wrong a little bit. It was only the first three feeders. The rest of the feeders are full. I guess I didn't go down there and look, but the rest of these got feed in them. So that makes things a lot easier. And it gives me peace to know that not all these pigs are out of feed because there's plugged up stuff in the tube. So well, I did get the first three unclogged and we're in good shape now. Well, look, back from feeding the horse, how was the horse this morning? Horse was good. He was hungry. He looked good though. He's, I think he likes our home better than he likes being boarded somewhere. So that's good. Pretty much all animals like being at Thistledew Farm. Yeah, that's for sure. The cat's happy with it. So that's all you can ask for. Any inspirational quotes for the day? Um, I would just say, Gotta just take action every day. It's all about just checking stuff off the list. Try to win the day every day. Look at that, that's fantastic. Every day, somebody's gotta pay. And if they don't, then you gotta pay yourself. So, you gotta hustle. Gotta keep hustling. We're gonna hustle some pigs this morning. Got a few empty pens after we sent over stocks out that we gotta get filled up, so come along. It's fun for the whole family. We took our overstocks out of this barn in two hitches. A couple weeks ago, we took some of the oldest pigs, the biggest pigs that we had, to one guy's place. And then just, oh, just last week, we took one load of the smallest to somebody that's got feeder pigs. So we got to thin these down. And, and I thinned down uh, some after the first ones went. And now then we just got a few pens left that we've got to thin down so in other words like here all these were single pens and we've got extra space so we're gonna lower the number of pigs that are in a pen and we're gonna combine them so that they're so now two pens run as one and so when we started with wiener pigs we put 50 to 55 pigs to a pen when they're little and to finish them we're gonna put 30 pigs to a pen so we're gonna have 60 pigs in two pens where before we had 50 pigs in one pen so you see just more space so that's what we're gonna do is get them all thinned down and 
and evened out. Our pen of 60 there. I'm gonna count this pen and we're gonna need a few extra because we're gonna make this our double. So we'll count how many's here and then whatever we need to add to make 62 we'll take out of that pen. Then we'll count them and the pen next to it because those are the pen, those are the only pens left over here that aren't thinned out. So that's what'll make our two double pens. Clear, right? Like a like a foggy winter day in Iowa. But there's a method to our madness. A 45. So, uh, so 17. 17. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. I'm gonna open this the other way and they'll run through without knowing that they're running through. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Hey, 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 hey! Hey, 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 hey! Hey! You guys, come on! 14, about 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. That's 18. You go, Tubby. He looked, he looked more confused, as were we. Now you're gonna just repeat this. Yep, just repeat the process. We'll count, count what's left in here, and then we'll add them to it. And if we go over, we've got a couple of pens in the south that I don't think have enough, so we're gonna consolidate them, and then we'll fill, make the pen come out right. <laughs> against the feeder but it's not at the feeder notice he is lifting that gate rod that feeder rod as many times as he wants to they got nothing but time to think up ways to screw you over and uh he's bound to determine to get that gate rod out of there he's gonna just keep using that snout keep pushing it every time he can he almost gets it, but then he can't do it quite, quite good enough. The pigs are overall pretty happy. I always like to say this stage of the pig's live is like going to college. It's like the first year in the dorms. More of a room, new friends, more variety on, on water and feeders. So it's a good deal. Now what we're gonna do, since we got all these pigs moved, that's adjusted feeders, but we're gonna open this pen up here at the end we're gonna let them roam 
the alley, get them nice and clean. That's, that's the ticket. That's the best thing about pigs is they can root up a spot really, really quick. And if you want your alley to be spick and span, just let a pen roam for half an afternoon or half a day and they will, they'll get it done for you. The bigger they are, the better the job they do and the faster they get it done. Glad to have that done. And really at this site, site two, there's not a whole lot more for us to do uh, until we start loading pigs out of here. Uh, we do have to get the mats hung up, so we'll do that too. But the next kind of big task that's coming up on the schedule just on the farm when it comes to pigs is loading fat hogs out of my site. So that's gonna be happening in a few short weeks. And some of those pigs are gonna go be going to farmer grade to so stock up on some more pork for our direct to consumer meat business. So that will be, that'll be good. That'll be a new, that'll be a change up. So looking forward to that, but glad to have this done.